Okay, so hello and welcome to the next episode of Cyber Potato. And today we will try to make our voting system work. Okay, so what we actually need is Mm, let me start with mm, we already have the the information about upvotes and downvotes uh, or we should have because it's in idea object okay so here we have the number of downvotes and upvotes okay so I can just I don't know, something like span uh, up votes and then uh, span not, 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 not here here span down votes and we should be fine yeah, 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 yeah. It, it looks like one hour, but it's actually, whoa. Whoa. I have a bug. Okay, never mind. Just for now, at least. Uh, but we need <laughs> something to actually represent it. So here I will create a um, vote component. All right, and we will um, make it look nice, actually. So here it is, and it's gonna be of course default. It's gonna be React functional component with props, and the props are. Let me think. Okay, there are a few things that our vote component has to have. Uh, we'll provide here icon name to distinguish the icon we should we should um, we should show to the user the current votes number for down votes and up votes. We'll use the same component obviously for down votes and up votes on add vote function like that for now and id of the idea okay so let's maybe call it idea id yeah that's way better okay so let's just unpack it here and here. What we're gonna need is um, some styling right here. So this is gonna be vault, vault wrapper. This is gonna be styled, styled. Uh, it could be spam, but let's go with a div. Of course, we'll re import this. Do display flex and start moving things around. Um, the direction is gonna be, I would like the components to flow from top to bottom, to, so it's gonna be column, obviously. A background color, I would like to use something for our beautiful color set. And this is gonna be main violet. We'll do the color white, justify content is gonna be a center we'll add a border radius to make it a little bit more circular cursor obviously is gonna be pointer stuff has to happen here margin is gonna be right with 16 pixels 
I will limit the max height to 75 pixels. Uh, we'll do something for our icons inside. It's going to be color set light violet padding top 8 pixels span padding bottom 8 pixels and on hover we'll change the opacity of the icon oops 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 that doesn't look right yeah now it is okay so this is our styling um to do this vault wrapper vault let's close this and this is closed so on click we'll call on add vote uh, we've provided id so yeah let's just take the stuff out of here id 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 actually um vote number and icon name okay now it makes sense but those parentheses don't make sense Paren parenthesis how do you how do you say it pa parenthesis strange okay id id school i class name is gonna be material icons obviously nothing new here but here we'll use the icon name i'm so hungry like i'm starving but so let's let let's just finish it and then worry about eating. Okay, let's go. Export def ex expro export default vault. Blah. Okay, it's fine. Uh, now we can use it in our idea row. So we'll move some things around. I'm gonna assume this should be um, I don't know why I moved it. Okay, so first vote. Yeah, adding stuff. So icon is important. Oh. Yeah, icon name and it's gonna be add circle. Um, yeah, votes number is going to be up votes uh, idea id is going to be you can just take it from here it's going to be id uh was it wrong oh oh yeah yeah typo right here and then on uh, add vault for now it's gonna be just no just just a good old function maybe do the console log okay now the same goes for this we just switch to remove circle we just switch to down vaults yeah and that should be pretty much it uh, oh but i can see that this is off um where is it here here what did we forgot we forgot to 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 to, to align items to center okay so let's just add that and align I'll align items to center cent, cent, center yeah 
Okay, and now, oh yeah. yeah, yeah, we need to specify the unique key because we're mapping over the components. Frankly, this is rather easy. And I don't know how I forgot about that. This is just idea, idea, obviously, because that's the unique key. Okay, so this is gone. And there's something that we have to fix. But you can see that the, the bot component is here. We fixed this strange back in our in our next episode of Cyber Potato, where we are doing stuff and introducing new bugs to rather simple applications. Thank you for watching. See you next time.